What's going on guys, Flickify here, and today I'm back again with another career mode player review. Today we're going to be having a look at Geoffrey Kondogbia, a player that's recently moved over to Inter Milan and has been a big discussion point for IRL football, so I thought he would be good to review in FIFA 15 career mode. If you guys have any players you want me to review in future episodes, make sure you leave a comment down below, and of course leave a like if you are enjoying these career mode player reviews. But with all that said, let's get into the review today. At the start of career mode, Kondogbia is a 77 rated center defensive mid, 21 years old and showing great potential. Has a real value of 3 million, however when you send an inquiry over to Monaco, they're going to say 10.5 million. So I would say you can pick him up for roughly 6 to 7 million if you do play your cards right. Moving on to the player information, he is left footed, has medium medium work rates and only 2 star weak foot, 2 star skill move, no traits to start off with and no specialties. But he does have pretty well-rounded attributes for a center defensive mid player and really has the right kind of attributes for a center defensive mid player. He's got really good strength and he has good defensive stats, good marking, good interceptions, and good passing as well. But let's jump ahead and take a look at what he looks like when he's 30 years old. Nine years later, Kondogbia reaches an overall rating of 87 and a value of 21 million, some good growth along the way. He does manage to pick up the tackling specialty, which does suit him pretty well because that's what he excelled at at the start of career mode. And if we move on to his attributes, you guys can see he doesn't manage to grow in the physical attributes, which is a bit of a shame, but his technical attributes are just superior. They do have 98 ball control, 81 dribbling, and really nice passing, good long shots, and really good defensive stats, which is what you're going to look for in a center defensive mid player, obviously. But I'll talk a little bit more about his pros and cons here in the goals and highlights follow. Going into this review, I thought Kondogbia would be a really special player on career mode because he's been receiving so much attention in real life, so I thought that kind of growth would also happen in FIFA 15 career mode. And overall, I thought he was a pretty good player. He does have a couple good pros. His dribbling is really nice, 98 ball control and 81 dribbling. Also, his passing is really nice for a center defensive mid player, 85 long passing and 95 short, which is really what you want to look for. And as I mentioned earlier, his defensive traits are just incredible. 93 marking as well as 83 interception and really great tackling means that he's going to win a lot of tackles and he's going to intercept a lot of passes which is what you want. He's also really tall and he's really strong so he has great physical traits. He does have a couple of cons though. Two star weak foot, two star skill moves which could be a lot better. His shooting is also not the best and I tried getting some long shots with him and they seem to either hit the post or not be on target in general. Lastly, his pace isn't the best because he doesn't manage to get the most growth over the course of career mode. Overall though, I'm going to give him an 8.8 .8 rating and a value for price of 8.9. He was a fun player to use, but definitely not the best center defensive mid I've used in FIFA 15 career mode. Guys, I hope you did enjoy the review today. If you did, do me a favor, leave a like down below, subscribe to the channel if you're new around here. And until the next review, this has been Flickify. I'll be talking to you all again soon.